Hey, it's Derek and this is Referral Candy in five minutes or more. Let's go. What is it? Referral Candy is designed to allow e-commerce stores to set up and run a turnkey referral program. It's ideal for small and medium-sized businesses that don't have access to or the budget for designers and developers to custom code pages or even a small microsite to create that custom program. Instead, Referral Candy guides you through the setup process, first by helping you decide what kind of referral incentive you would like to provide. Do you want to offer a cash incentive like a gift card, or would you prefer offering a dollar or percentage discount off a future purchase? This decision is very specific to the type of business you have. For example, a mattress company should probably give cash to the referrer since they aren't likely to buy another mattress anytime soon. Conversely, a high repeat purchase or subscription box company would want to offer a percentage off the next customer's next purchase or an additional free item in their box for each referral. The next component to decide on is whether or not you want to offer single or double referral bonuses, meaning do you want to reward just the referrer or do you also want to provide a reward and incentive to that new customer to make the purchase? An example of a double referral bonus, which would be a current customer saying something like, hey, I bought this great product and you should too. Here's a coupon for 15% off your first purchase. Click the link below. Again, this type of bonus that the referrer receives is completely up to you, but double referral bonuses have been proven to work better than single referrer bonuses in most cases. And this has to do with the human nature of how people are wanting to help their friends and share a good deal. Single referrals, it really feels kind of a bit too salesy or maybe even slides into that affiliate category as opposed to being a true referral. According to Referral Candy's own data, offering a bigger discount to the referee leads to more success because again, people are feeling like they're helping out the other person more than the help they're receiving. The last step to launch your referral program is to select your email templates. The easiest option is the autopilot theme, which only requires you to upload your logo and banner and everything else is ready to go. And of course you can customize with your own copy or create your own sequences if you feel the need. They also have a robust fraud detection system, the ability to validate or invalidate each referral. There are embed signup forms, referral widgets, and post-purchase pop-ups available for you to use that are all designed to get users coming in and being active in referring other people. And you can easily see your best referring customers who essentially become prime candidates for building a deeper influencer relationship with. Competitive landscape. Viral Loops and Wishpond are both similar tools, along with Get Ambassador, which would perhaps be seen as an enterprise competitor, where you may have a referral program, an influencer program, a partner program, an affiliate program all in one. Smile, Swell, and Loyalty Lion are full-fledged loyalty programs, so they aren't necessarily looking to just drive revenue from referrals. However, they compete for that same marketing budget. Really, you're either gonna be looking for a referral only tool or a full-fledged loyalty tool. You would rarely use a separate tool for loyalty and referral since they're very closely tied together. But by using a tool just like Referral Candy, you get to stay focused completely on the referral and you don't worry about that full-fledged loyalty program right now. Biggest differentiator. Referral Candy is one of the original referral program tools and oldest apps in the Shopify app store. They only care about the referral, which keeps the tool extremely focused on that one functionality which I know you love. When dealing with referral tools, fraud can quickly become a tricky topic. Are customers actually referring new business or is somebody just pushing their code on a coupon or discount site or trying to take advantage of our system? With Referral Candy, you have an internal fraud detection system to help notify you if they believe someone is misusing your referral program. For the most basic example, imagine someone has the same device or IP address being used on multiple referrals. Clearly, this is the same person or a close family member, and they shouldn't be getting referral credit. You also have a dashboard that allows you to see who your top referrers are, and if you notice a large discrepancy between the top two or three referrers, you can dig in a little deeper into their profiles to determine if something fishy is going on. Metric impact. Referral candy is designed to drive revenue. Based on industry standards, referral programs usually generate about 2.35% of top line revenue to your business. Referral Candy has performed studies to offer standards for your specific industry to help you see how your program compares. You will want to understand your referral coefficient. Is it better or worse than that 2.35%? And how might you be able to improve it by tweaking incentives, changing the promotions, et cetera, et cetera. You want to understand the cost of acquiring a customer from referral. Since you didn't have to spend any ad dollars to get them, you might think it's free, but then you have the cost or payout to the referrer and the discount you gave the referee. How does that affect your overall margin on this channel? It's probably better than paid ads, but may not be in some cases. It's important to know. 
And down the road, you will even want to understand the difference in lifetime value and average order value from this channel. It's quite common to see a higher lifetime value from referrals because the referrer has helped you break through that no like and trust barrier that you couldn't do yourself. When should you use it? Referral candy works best for established brands with a great product experience that people love to unite around. The stronger the existing brand relationship, the more likely they will tell friends about your business. Think about it this way. You want to be fostering the existing word of mouth marketing going on around your business as opposed to forcing it to exist in the first place. A referral program is only part of your overall marketing plan. You want to make sure it is integrated into the rest of the strategy. For example, by promoting the plan via email, on-site, and even maybe giving customers a postcard with their product and an offer or their link uh, right there in it. Companies that have target markets like moms, kids, millennials, or younger generations will have an easier time creating successful referral programs as they tend to participate more. At the end of the day, any referral program is better than no program at all because even getting a 1% lift in your referral rate can mean big business. Most of the time a referral program doesn't work, it's likely due to poor promotion or oversight by the merchant. Oftentimes you need to tinker with the incentives and levers in order to see how people are really going to respond. Testing multiple offers and tracking your conversions are the most important things you can do to blow out your referral program. When should you use it? All stores should build some kind of referral program as word of mouth is the best form of advertisement. That being said, referral programs are only as good as the revenue you have coming in. It won't magically jumpstart your sales, but it will amplify what you are already doing. Companies that struggle most with referral programs are those with weak brands, pass-through traffic, or one-time purchases, and also those that can't really offer any valuable incentives to their customers, like maybe you can't give them a discount or cash incentive because of your margins. Also worth noting, referral programs can work in B2B e-commerce, but the incentives typically need to be quite different because when you're buying for a company, you aren't always as price sensitive and most businesses don't let you sneak a referral commission under the table. Integrations. Referral Candy integrates with all major e-commerce platforms, including Shopify, Shopify Plus, WooCommerce, Magento, BigCommerce, and all the others. They integrate with key channels like your Google Analytics, Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and MailChimp. And they also integrate with a lot of other tools like Recharge, Paywhirl, Bold, and the Bold Commerce Suite, Chargebee, Limelight, Celery, and more. Pricing. Referral Candy offers a 30-day free trial that then goes to $49 a month, plus a small commission depending on your referral revenue. So the more referrals you have, the less percent commission you pay. The percentage starts at 5% and it moves down to 0.25% as you scale. An enterprise plan is available at a much higher starting point for larger businesses. This comes with a dedicated account rep for support, actual account management and oversight, and this also gets you priority for custom feature builds. Setup time and resources. Referral Candy can be set up in minutes and does not have to require much in the way of resources. The more customization you want for your account, the more effort you have to put into it. As mentioned, you need to integrate your referral program into the rest of your marketing mix to get as high of an adoption rate as possible. Then you need to tinker with the incentives in order to find what works best for you. And you may need to come into your dashboard monthly to review referral cases and access payouts. Ensure there isn't any fraud and all of that. And you may want to reach out to your high performing customers and ask them for UGC or something like that. Final thoughts. Referral marketing does cost money. You have to pay the referrer, the referee is typically getting a discount, and you have to pay referral candy. That being said, you don't have to pay Facebook ads or any other paid acquisition source, and the return on your investment is pretty easily calculated. So while you may be thinking, holy cow, I have to pay 15% of each sale in this form or that form, you're actually saving that advertising cost per acquisition or what you might be paying on another channel and just moving it into this one. Referral Candy is hyper-focused in maximizing the number of referrals you and customers you bring in. If you're thinking of launching a referral program, you need to consider this tool. Related tools. You're going to want to get customers involved in your referral program. After you launch, schedule a blast announcing the program with your favorite email service provider. Perhaps it's Omnisend or Klaviyo, the two leading providers for mid-market Shopify merchants. Maybe you want to create custom bundles or discounts to give to referees? Check out Bold's tool suite, which includes a tool called Bundles and another call, you guessed it, discounts. Bold tools are great, I love them. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If referral candy interests you, please do click on my partner link somewhere around here, or you can book a forever free consultation with me, Derek Haney. I'm happy to discuss referral candy and how it relates to the rest of your tool stack. That's it for me and I will see you guys next time.